Welcome back. 615 right now. While more businesses are starting to reopen across the state, tourism spots like museums are still unable to open their doors to visitors. Joining us by phone this morning is the executive director of Muscle Shoals Sound Studio, Debbie Wilson. Debbie, good morning. Good morning. Glad to be with you guys. Thank you so much for waking up early with us. You know, it's, it's got to be difficult. It's been difficult for all of us over these last few months, but especially museums like 3614 Jackson Highway. You know, you guys depend on foot traffic. How hard has it been for you guys to cancel and postpone a lot of the events? Well, this is usually a really busy season for us. March and April, uh, we have a lot of group tours. Uh, scheduled from all over the country and also all over the world. So it's been very difficult for um, our tour guides who love to share the story and share the magic with people from all over the world. And it, it's just been extremely challenging like it has for everyone else. And uh, we were really missing, um, you know, our visitors and being able to share that story and also uh, have them come in and, and buy a lot of merch from us, which keeps us running. Well, Debbie, as you know, challenging times call for some creativity. So let's talk about anything virtually at all. Can we see any online tours or anything like that right now? Yes, we have. There are several videos on our Facebook page, which is Muscle Show Sound Studio, and we have about 70, I mean, 86,000 uh, followers. And uh, I did a series, actually, um, of videos of different parts of the studio. They were with a cell phone and by myself, obviously, uh, since there's social distancing in our employees aren't getting together right now. Um, and those went over very well. We had a lot of engagement uh, with those. Uh, we've also had um, a podcast, just released another podcast that was recorded at the studio a couple of days ago. Um, so we, you know, we've done some things like that. We've had some photo shoots to catch up on photos, and we're getting ready to release some of our pet-friendly photos um, later this week, uh, along with a uh, contest next week for people bringing their pets outside. So we've tried to do some different kinds of things. And we've had a couple of Zoom interviews with different media outlets. Judy that did one yesterday at the studio. So we've tried to stay engaged with our audience. Moving forward, hopefully you guys will be able to reopen your doors soon. What is it going to look like, though, when you're finally able to welcome visitors back into the studio? Well, we are, you know, you know Marie, you've been there. It's quite small. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to, at the beginning at least, look at doing more outdoor um, uh, tours and then self-guided tours in the basement and up in the main studio, especially with parties that come together. Of course, you, know, you can keep them closer to six foot together if they're, um, you know, in the same car, that kind of thing. But we'll still be doing, you know, the story of the tour where we're going to require masks. Um, with our employees, of course, we're going to be sanitizing everything very frequently. Uh, we're also looking at starting uh, one of the first things we'll probably do is a couple of recording sessions, yes. which are a smaller amount of people and a little bit easier environment to control uh, in the next couple of weeks. I love the documentary, Debbie. I've never been there. Marie's telling us all about it and how cool it is out there. But I uh, really, really want to encourage you to keep on keeping on. But how about uh, you were talking about recording uh, some, re some recording studio type of event there or whatever. Any kind of like outdoor concert type thing or anything like that with some of the, maybe, who knows, some of the artists around there? Right. And we hope to do that in the fall. Okay. Our annual fundraiser was scheduled for April 25th. Uh, it would have been our 51st. We've been in, around for 51 years. Uh, the studio opened in 1969. Of course, there was an interruption in between that time, and the Muscle Shows documentary helped us open up again. Uh, we have, you know, a little bit of ground that we could look at doing, even the driving concert or something like that. So we are looking at some of those options. Um, and, you know, to the recording sessions, you know, Patterson's other drive-by truckers, he recorded with us right before all this happened. Dave Cobb out of uh, Nashville had a session scheduled with us, um, and hopefully that's going to come back online as well. Uh, but we are looking at doing some more outside public engagement. Uh, this summer, I, I think a lot of us aren't going to complain about the heat as much uh, as we normally would. Mm -hmm. So we, we do uh, want to do a couple of outside things, you know, if, if it seems to be safe mm -hmm. and that we can uh, manage it logistically. All right. Well, we look forward to see what you guys have to offer when you bring that spirit and that magic of Muscle Shoals Sound 
back to everyone when yeah. the stores open. And we're still uh, very active online, MuckleshellFilmStudio.org. We sell merch on there. We had a big sale yesterday, sold a lot of merch. We're a nonprofit. Um, that's one thing that uh, we're different than, than some other uh, attractions. We're 100% nonprofit. Um, so we get some merchandise to ticket sales and then our recording revenue. But we really appreciate the support of you guys and the entire community during these challenging times, and, and we can't wait to get back to our visitors. All right. Debbie Wilson, Executive Director of Muscle Shoals Sound Studio, thank you so much for your time and insight this morning, Debbie. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. You too, Debbie. 620 right now.